Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's talk about something a bit different today. Trash is often completely overlooked by novice gold prospectors, yet there's an incredible amount of information that can be determined by just looking at what people left behind. Today I want to give a brief introduction to dating cans, which are generally the most common discarded item that you find in uh, older mining sites. So tin cans were first made in the early 1800s by tin smiths and the seams were all soldered by hand so when you find a can with hand soldering you can guess that it was probably from the 1800s. A hole was left in the top which food was forced through and then a cap was soldered into place leaving a small little pinhole in the center and then the can and the food inside were both boiled and the steam escaped through uh, a smaller pinhole which itself was then soldered shut and then the, the can was then sealed. Modern cans are called sanitary cans which didn't see use until about 1900 but they pretty much dominated the market after the 1920s with the one exception being uh, ev evaporated milk. So let's take a look at a timeline of some of the common cans that we encounter in the field. Uh, tapered meat cans were invented in 1875. Key open cans were invented in 1885. This can here is also a vacuum packed coffee can which was invented in 1903. The ever-present pocket tobacco tins were invented in 1907 and popularized by uh, the Prince Albert brand. The first modern can opener with two wheels was invented in 1925, so by looking at the tops of cans you can often tell uh, you know, if it was roughly opened with a knife. Um, it it might have been pre-1925, but if it was a nice smooth cut like a modern can opener would give you, it's probably after 1925. Spam cans came shortly thereafter in 1926. Um, motor oil in quart size cans was first marketed in 1933. Beer cans and church keys, which are the tools that make those triangle holes on the tops of cans, were first produced in 1935. Since they're such a common find, let's look at beer cans a bit closer. Beer also came in cone top cans, which uh, were last produced in 1959. And coincidentally, that's also the same year aluminum was first used to manufacture beer cans. The ever ubiquitous pull tab, freaking pull tabs, were first used in 1962 by Iron City Beer and have pretty much caused metal detectorists waking nightmares ever since. Uh, say what you will about Iron City, but never let it be said that it isn't real beer. The first stay in place pull tab was used in 1975 due to littering complaints. The odd press button can emerged in the early 70s but it didn't stick around too long due to finger injuries. Also of interest uh, from 1919 to 1933 during prohibition the phrase 2.75 percent alcohol limit and for medicinal purposes only was employed. The word beer was entirely forbidden. The last can of interest is aerosols which generally weren't seen before the mid 40s. The oddball is evaporated milk, which, as I mentioned earlier, retained the old soldered pinhole style of the old-fashioned cans well into the 1960s, which makes using these cans as a date marker kind of difficult. You can instantly recognize these cans by the two knife holes punctured in opposing sides, and virtually every pile of cans has at least one of these in it. That should cover a good bulk of the cans that you find in piles. Here are a few other miscellaneous items though. Aluminum foil was invented in 1947. Bakelite was invented in 1907, though plastics in general didn't really see common usage in disposable type items until about the 1940s or 1950s. And finally, zippers were used on boots for some time, even in the 1800s I believe, but zippers themselves didn't see common usage on clothes until about the 1920s. I hope this primer is useful out in the field. I think that matching our research at home up to the observations we make in the field is actually a very important ingredient to success out there. So keep your eyes peeled and keep your mind open. And thanks for watching. See you out in the hills.